Hello and welcome to 5 Minutes of Postgres. My name is Lucas and today we'll take a look at a hairy Postgres incident and how we can use the Linux perf command to debug high IC utilization in Postgres. In this blog post by Jeremy Schneider, he describes the situation that uh, he encountered at AWS where they were debugging a particular customer problem. What's important to know is that this was a migration situation. There was a major version upgrade and what they were seeing is that on a new database, the application wasn't working at all anymore. The system utilization was spiked to 100%. The system was pretty unresponsive, I imagine. When they looked to page the activity, they also didn't see any wait events or anything that would indicate which part of Postgres could be busy with the queries. They were able to see one thing, which is very helpful to debugging here, which is that they were consistently seeing a particular query show up. So they were seeing this rather simple query, I would say, which was looking at the data in a particular table, and it was comparing an in list of values against two columns, and then it was also doing an AND comparison on a timestamp column. You'll notice that these are fairly large uh, multi-column indexes. For example, timestamp column one is actually the last column of that long index, which uh, we'll come back to, but it's, it's partially related to what the ultimate root cause was found out to be. Same queries, same workload was behaving fine on the old systems, but on this new system and new version, it, it was not working as expected. Here's an important reminder, make sure to analyze after you upgrade a major Postgres version. There are some you know, issues with outdated statistics after upgrades, and so always run analyze after you've done a major version upgrade. There are a couple of things how you can find out whether Postgres was choosing a bad query plan. One thing that I always recommend people do, and it's also mentioned here in the article, is consider using auto-explain. If there is a bad query plan that was executed, it will log that plan to the Postgres logs. This will help you find the root cause of slow queries. If a query goes for multiple seconds, then it just outputs the explain plan of that specific execution into the Postgres logs. On this particular server, they didn't have that enabled, unfortunately, and it didn't necessarily help because the other thing that was in place here, they are using a statement timeout of about two minutes. If you have a statement time with Mabel in Postgres, both auto explain and pages that statements won't show these queries that are timing out. Pages that statements only considers completed queries. It doesn't consider canceled queries like a timeout would cause. Auto explain also does not output a canceled query. You should look at your Postgres logs. And if you're seeing a particular query time out a lot, then you should look at that independently of other statistics you may be looking at. This is the point where this got interesting, where they went from looking at the Postgres statistics tables to the Linux system level tools. If you have 100% CPU utilization, what I've seen a lot of experts in the Postgres world do is they will actually drop down to the Linux level and they'll run Linux system profilers like perf to debug what exactly time is spent on. Perf is a better basic program. There are scripts that you can write to make it easier to use or to output certain data in a nicer to manner. For example, they uh, generate a flame graph based on the perf data they were collecting, and this flame graph was showing them what the system was busy with. This made them compare the profiles between the good system and the bad system. They were essentially able to identify the same query on the good system. There was something that was odd about it, which was that the bitmap and function was called a lot less frequently, and on the bad system, that was called quite a lot. With that in mind, Jeremy ended up having a hunch. You sometimes need to work off a hunch and try things out. In this case, Jeremy was like, well, let me try something. And he ended up doing an explain on, on the query and, and, and some variant, and he was able to uh, reproduce the bad query plan. And as you can see here in the bad query plan case, it was doing a bit of index scan on the second index, and it was expecting to get 2 billion rows, right, the whole table, but it was still using that index and was still attempting that index scan. What the system was churning on was just that bitmap index can being uh, pulled into the plan when it really shouldn't have. For various reasons, they didn't change the indexes, which is where I would have started, but they um, instead went and tried to override what Postgres was doing by using a CTE and force the query into the good plan. And that was the solution here. If you encounter high securitization problems yourself, what I would recommend is look at this Postgres wiki page that describes how to use the perf profile tool 
This is only usable if you run Postgres on a virtual machine. If you're a customer of Amazon, for example, you actually would need Amazon to run this. If you have your own Postgres on a virtual machine, then you can just do this yourself. It's, it's pretty straightforward, actually. Last but not least, Jeremy also referenced this set of tools by Tile Coder. This set of tools is intended to be low overhead profiling that you can keep running for a long time. Tamil in particular has a tool called run XCPU here. And what uh, Jeremy referenced in this post is internally at AWS, they have similar tooling to do low frequency profiles over a longer time frame that uses that same perf tool underneath the hood, which gets the raw Linux system data that you can then analyze. Thank you so much for listening. This was five minutes of Postgres. See you next week. Mm -hmm.